Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and & Dragons, and we're going to talk about what every single Dungeon Master can learn from the incredible feat of storytelling that James Cameron just accomplished with um, Avatar Way of Water. Uh, I usually have, I usually do not do non-spoiler uh, content, but this is non-spoiler content. There are zero spoilers for James Cameron's Way of Water uh, in this material. Um, which is a big deal for me, because you know me, man. I don't like to do non-spoiler discussion, but this is a truly incredible film, and I'm and I'm going to be putting out this video literally in on the opening weekend. And I really don't I don't want to spoil it for anybody because it's sh it it shocked me how good this movie was. Uh, I was absolutely astoundingly shocked at how powerful a story James Cameron accomplished with um, with Avatar Way of Water. So, so I, And what I want to talk about today is I want to talk about what James Ca Cameron accomplished and then very specifically I want to talk about what this means for you and me as Dungeon Masters. So what does Avatar Way of Water mean for every Dungeon Master? Okay, so here we go. So first of all, um, I just went, I'm literally driving home from seeing uh, Avatar Way of Water and I was absolutely shocked how good this film was. Now, to tell the truth, I saw Avatar 2009, I saw it in the theaters, and that movie made almost three billion dollars. It's it's one of the, um, oh, you know what, I'm sorry, Maybe I think it maybe only made almost two billion dollars? It was between two and three billion dollars. It made a ton of money. And it's de and I'm, I'm almost positive it's still in the top ten of all um, films of all time. Right, and so it's still on the top ten list right now. Right, uh, Avatar two thousand nine. And honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you about it. Uh, it you know, so Avatar two thousand nine was the story of Pandora, this um, far flung, um, this planet that was far away from Earth, and human Earth travelers uh, traveled to it, and uh, and then they interacted with the Navi. Okay, which were these species that lived on Pandora, right? And um, you're talking about all this very generally, no, 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 no spoilers, uh, even for Avatar here. Um, and uh, and so basically, it was the interaction of these. You know, it was the story of the interaction of humans and the Navi, right? And honestly, I was not highly impressed. <laughs> I, I, to tell the truth, I really could care less. Of, I really, I, you know, Avatar two thousand nine. I thought was really a, a a movie. I didn't I didn't even think it was that good of a movie, right? But I will tell you right now, uh, I was stunningly shocked by Avatar: Way of Water. Now, the reason why I went to see it is I own a Regal Movie Pass, which I'm very my wife gets it for me. It costs twenty dollars a month. It's a, it's a gift from her to me, and I can see all the movies I want, right? And I saw it by myself because the reality is. I'm really the only person in my in my family who's really a huge movie buff, and so I just went and saw this thing on opening night by myself, and I was absolutely stunningly shocked what James Cameron accomplished with this film. So I don't even know. Well, actually, I have a few clues, but it, it's really incredible what he did, right? So here's the thing: we this is 2022, right? And I went to see Avatar Way of Water just to see the spectacle. I did not expect it to be a good film. I knew people were going to be discussing it. And I and I don't, you know, and I'm a huge movie fan. And this, and regardless of whatever my opinion was of Avatar 2009, I knew that, um, that Avatar Way of Water would be a discussion point. It would be a major, major, major discussion point among anybody who cared about film. Right? And so I needed to just see it. I just needed to see the event, right? And I was ready to be like... And then I would know for myself if it was good or bad. And honestly, I expected it to be bad. I, I'm not an Avatar fan, right? Pr previously. I'm a huge Avatar fan now. Really, I've been converted. Really. Like, uh, it was really astounding. And so here's the thing. What did James Cameron really do? Well, it's 2022. Okay, and I just want to talk to you about the state of films. I go to movies all the time because I, I literally have a movie pass. The movies, the movie theaters are not filled. I almost never sit in a theater with any more than 20 people nowadays. 
And I really felt like we were watching the last dying heartbeats of the of, of the big screen, right? Because everybody's saying, oh, you know, I can stay home. I can, you know, eat yogurt or whatever while I watch the film and, you know, just enjoy it on my big screen. Oh, well, by my large screen television, which is not a big screen, right? Um, but I can order, I can just enjoy it on the small screen, which is good television at my house. Blah, 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 right? But to me, if you understand film, you understand that the big screen is a temple to attention, right? It says, hey, put your phone away, no talking, watch this piece of art, receive it, right? And it's truly astounding, and, it, and it, it's really something special, right? And if you care about film, you know what this means, you know what this is, right? And so... Um, you know, and the reality is, it really looked like in 2022, especially with all the, the havoc that the Great Pan D wrought, that the big screen was coming to its end, right? And the only hope we had was Spider-Man No Way Home, which made $1.8 billion, right? But the reality is, this film, Avatar Way of Water, says we're not done with the big screen yet. There is reason to have the big screen, and movies are going to be made still, even today, that deserve to be seen on a 40 by 20 foot screen, right? That deserve to have silver behind them, right? That deserve the true, full, big screen. The resolution, the, you know, the isolation, the proper representation of a powerful piece of art, right? the big screen, there are still creators who can put things on the big screen with meaning and purpose, right? And so this was, uh, you know, uh, so there's those, you know, the, this is a life paddle to the to the American big screen, right? Like those paddles that you rub together and you, you hit the person in the chest and they, you know, you see if the heart can start up. This was a EKG paddle hit to the American big screen. And this thing deserves to be on the big screen. And it is an absolutely magnificent catapulting of a of a very of a of a, a franchise that started mediocre that is now fully awesome, right? And it is all due to James Cameron and the amazing cast that he gathered for this, and for you know for everybody who was involved with this film. I'm incredibly thankful and I'm incredibly impressed. Okay, now, what does that mean? For you and me, Dungeon Masters, right? Well, not only is this an EKG to say, hey, the the small screen can go kick rocks. And every sucker who waits to watch films on their 50-inch television is is a schmuck, right? Like, like there's American f film means something. And if you are not doing what you can to support it, you are the problem. Right, like, and it just says, "Hey, you know, um, the big screen matters, and art matters, and story matters." Right, and James Cameron has really done the EKG to it. Right now, where does that put you and me as dungeon masters? Well, there's one more screen that we need to talk about. Okay, the small screen. It can go kick rocks, man. I like it. The small screen does not present films in the way they are intended to be watched. And if you're out there and you're skipping films and you're no longer going to the movies and you're just sad sacking it on your couch, right, and you watch Bullet Train for the first time on Netflix, you are the problem and you need to get your butt, butt to where movies should be seen appropriately. However, the big screen is not the last screen. It is not the most important screen. So while I am shockingly impressed with what James Cameron did on the big screen with Avatar Way of Water, my true takeaway from the film is what I'm going to do on the Omega screen and what you're going to do on the Omega screen and what the ultimate Dungeon Master is going to do 10 years from now and 100 years from now on the Omega screen. What is the Omega screen? The Omega screen is the screen that every dungeon master has 
James Cameron is one of the most powerful um, executioners of the last um, dying art, antiquated art of filmmaking, right? But the reality is filmmaking is a, a shadow of what can be accomplished by a powerful, engaged, hot DM. Somebody who is really, like, has all pistons firing, right? And the reality is Gary Gygax built a new path for human narrative, and it is the most, it is the Omega screen. When we sit down, we tell the story that can surpass anything Hollywood has ever created. We have the biggest screen. We have the best screen. We have the last screen. We have the Omega screen. We are the world's greatest storytellers, Dungeon Masters. While I am shockingly inspired by James Cameron's Avatar Way of Water, it is nothing compared to what I will do in 2023 at my table, and it is nothing compared to what you will do in 2023 at your table, and it is nothing compared to the amazing Dungeon Masters who are being raised up right now in America who are going to catapult Dungeons and Dragons further, farther, furthest, best to the to the horizon of narrative. We are the Omega screen. We are the most important screen. We are the last screen. We are the screen where narrative truly shines the most. Thank you, James Cameron, for an amazing film. Thank you for inspiring me as a dungeon master to make sure that what I do in 2023 surpasses everything I've ever done in my life. And thank you for, and thank you, each one of you out there as dungeon masters, for staying on this channel and being inspired and knowing that no screen, no matter how many feet it's going to be, can compete with the amazing narratives you're going to deliver in 2023. All that is my humble opinion. And, and I am begging you, please see Avatar Way of Water immediately and bring as many people as you can. I'm sorry I didn't. Um, and I'm going to, you know, uh, see how many I can bring over the holidays. It is worth every penny. Uh, and it's worth every moment that you spend watching it. Uh, I cannot speak highly enough of Avatar Way of Water. Um, but it's nothing compared to what you're going to do in 2023 with Dungeons and Dragons the true omega screen of human narrative. All that's my humble opinion. I'm eager to hear yours. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider like subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.